Hey, it's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and it's time for another rainy day activity. This time we're going to be building a catapult. A tabletop catapult. And if you want to do this along at home, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need popsicle sticks. Eight of them. You're going to need rubber bands. Four of them. Now they don't have to be this big, but they do have to be in good condition. We're also going to be using a little bit of glue. I'll be using crafting glue because that's what I have around the apartment. But if you have a little super glue, that might work better. Also, you need a bottle cap. So if you have all those things, or if you just want to watch me, we're ready to go. And here's how to build a tabletop catapult. Now I've sped this up twice as fast for the sake of the video. What you want to do is take all the sticks, remove two of them for later, and then stack the rest of them like this. Take a rubber band and start wrapping around one end. What we're doing here is creating the base of the catapult. So you're going to want to make sure that it's nice and stable. Once you have one end secured, repeat the process on the other side with another rubber band. After both sides are nice and tight, what you should have is a little brick of sticks. Nice and stable like that. Take the remaining two sticks and we're going to wrap a rubber band around one side. With this one, we're not going to wrap it too tightly because we want the rubber band to give a little and for the sticks to be able to move. This is in fact the mechanism of the catapult. Test it afterwards, make sure that it moves and you have both your pieces. Now what you have to do is take the big piece and put it into the little piece as such. Connect them with a rubber band. Loop it around one side like that, and then bring it around to the other, twisting it halfway. Keep doing that over and over till the rubber band's nice and tight, and it should be fixed just like that. Now all that's left is adding the bottle cap that will hold our projectiles. Here's the bottle cap, and here's the glue. Now, here's a good point. If you don't open up the glue, it won't come out. And here we go. Just put a little bit of glue on the bottle cap like that. Nice and neat. Just attach it there. You start making a mess, grab a paper towel in a horrible panic like I did. And you've made a catapult. Congratulations. Well, that's gonna take a little bit of time to dry, but fortunately I made one before that we can play with right away. And I made little targets. Here's a little bank robber with a ski cap and a little zombie. And we're gonna be uh, firing at those. I attached these, by the way, the two pieces of wood to make these targets with thinking putty. Thinking putty from a previous video I made. I hope you go back and look at that if you haven't seen it. And I've got little foam balls to fire at the targets. So I'm going to leave you with a little bit of target practice and hope you come back for the next video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, the little thumbs up, leave comments and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein.